What up, your boy Superman 2017? I'm not sure that's a happening or a good thing. I'm hoping it's better than 2016. Because a lot of crappy things happened in 2016. A lot of good things happened, but mostly crappies. Anyway, so what's to make this year a better year? Today I just want to tell a story. So it's story time, guys. So everyone gather around. Make a circle. All right, let's do this. Um, Today we're going to talk about basically me meeting Ikiko's mom for the first time, okay? Cause, so Ikiko's mom got married and then they broke up, okay? So she's single mom. She did basically the, 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 basically the guy's job, at least traditionally in Japan. So she went, worked, made money. So she got pretty high up in the nursing field. We're talking she ran huge hospitals in Tokyo type of high up. So she get paid money. Her mom watched and raised Yukiko. Meeting her for the first time and talking about marriage and stuff like that was is very, very cringing, painful experience. You know what I mean? Like, everyone's nervous, but it was just like, I didn't speak Japanese very well at all. And she, she's been studying English, so she knew some English. So there's already a, a language barrier there. But it, the mood was like this. I'm sitting like they're racking. Then um, finally, she's like, "So, you really like Kikiko, huh?" You take care of her. Keep in mind, we actually are already officially married. Technically, we already got married in America, right? So. We've been married for a year already, but we still had to have the wedding in Japan. And weddings in Japan are no joke. They're expensive. We're talking $28,000 to $30,000 expense. Back with the story. So, how are you gonna take care of my daughter? This is the question. That's always the question here in Japan. It doesn't matter. It's kind of a universal question because, you know, me being a parent, I have a little girl. When she brings that boy home, I'm going to be the same way. I'm going to do exactly what Yukiko's mom did to me. I'm going to be like, I don't even drink alcohol. I'm going to just have to put like some fake, like something in a wine bottle and act like I've been drinking. But like, so, if I'm in America, I'm going to put a gun on the table. So, how are you going to take care of my little girl? So, you know, you know he's going to be like, oh, God. <laughs> Um, sir, um, so, you know, that test right there, it's like, if he runs out the door, he's not for her. If he stays, he stands his ground and says, look, sir, I love your daughter very much. I don't care what you say. I'm going to do anything in this world to make her happy. I'll be like, okay, that's all I want to know, right? So that's kind of sort of what I had to say to her mom. At the same time, keep in mind, like I said, there's an English Japanese language barrier going on there. So I said it in the best way I could in Japanese, which is pretty terrible. So thank goodness Yukiko's mom studied English for quite a while. She studied English for at least five years. So her English was good enough to catch my English as long as I said it very clearly, concisely, and slowly. So yeah, it was very, like I said, very nerve wracking. So I got off the hook very easily, apparently. There's way more to it, okay? Like, for example, let's, let's say Yukiko's mom wasn't, like, divorced, and, you know, the, the dad was there and pleasant. I met him later, which that's a whole other story. He was actually very more welcoming. He's always more welcoming. And every time he calls, he's always like, you know, where's Tiger? Let me talk to Tiger, you know? And I, tr I do my best to talk to him, but it's always still... Still, my Japanese is not enough. I feel like it's never enough, no matter how much I study. But traditionally, if they were still married, then he'd be the one, on, you know. And there's no guns in Japan, right? So maybe he would put like a knife or a samurai sword on the table. He's like, so. So. The alcohol. And a beer. <laughs> and a sake. I'm just like, damn, you drink a lot. So guys actually will show their bank book. They're like, look. I have money like that to like the father and show like hey look I have money I have a job I will do my best sir to take care of her you know like 
very traditional, very respectful, very exact. Yeah, so I feel like in America we were kind of like that, minus showing the money. But at least we had the good manners at you know in the past. Uh, traditionally, back in the day, you guys know we just we'd go to the father, but like, look, I want your blessing. You know, in Japan to this day, you still have to do that. You have to go, sir. Can I have your blessing for this marriage? It doesn't necessarily mean that like if they, if he doesn't give it, you can't get married. But it will cause big stress if you don't get that blessing. Anyways, that was my story, my experience getting uh, the blessing from Yukiko's mom. Um, I'm hoping your experience is better. Mine wasn't bad, but I've heard stories. I'll see you next time. Peace, and thank you for watching the video.